in a thriller in the 2010 Orange Bowl, the Iowa Hawkeyes defeated the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets 24 to 14. Hawkeye Nation flocked by the droves to Miami to watch as the 10th ranked Iowa Hawkeyes took on the ACC champion and 9th ranked Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Early in the first quarter on third and goal, Iowa quarterback Ricky Stanzi connected with Marvin McNutt for a four-yard touchdown and Iowa took an early 7-0 lead. Later in the first quarter, Stanzi had another touchdown pass, this time to Colin Sandman. The 22-yard touchdown gave Iowa a 14-0 lead over Georgia Tech. Midway through the third, a 33-yard Daniel Murray field goal gave Iowa a 17-7 lead and after a Brandon Wager touchdown, late in the fourth quarter sealed the deal. Iowa won its first ever Orange Bowl 24-14. We're, we're very happy with what, you know, how things have turned out obviously. We came down here with one goal and that was to win the game. That's always our goal and we were able to do that. Uh, to come down here, the, the job our players did the entire time they were here, they really prepared well, kept their focus, yet they really enjoyed the town. Uh, but clearly tonight it showed that they did a great job during the course of the last eight, nine days. And um, it's just a, a great, great feeling. But um, I'm just really pleased for our players most of all. We came down here. We wanted to represent the conference, represent ourselves. And we were able to do that. And, uh, you know, we couldn't be happier. Iowa Stout defense led by Orange Bowl MVP Adrian Claiborne dominated throughout the entire game. Georgia Tech celebrated offense, scored no points during the first half, and at the end of the game, Georgia Tech only had 155 yards of offense compared to Iowa's 403. The players attribute all the success to Kurt Ferentz and the Iowa coaching staff. It's, I mean, if you said describe the Hawkeyes, it's just defense. That's all it is, defense. Those guys have been tremendous. Um, you know, Coach Parker, just the schemes he comes up with, the shutdown, this attack, has just been awesome. Coaches have been there before, and they've seen what it takes to be successful. And if you can buy in and do what they're asking of us, focus on the small things. It's not going to be glamorous. It's not going to be sexy. But if you can do the tough things, the small things that nobody else is willing to do, it gives you a chance to come to a game like this and perform on the big stage. And that's exactly what it is. I think it means a lot, and it's a testament to in our coaching staff. You know, Coach Ferens is uh, such a great guy and a great human being. And, uh, and I really think this program is is going to stay put. I don't think they're going anywhere. Reporting from inside Landshark Stadium, I'm Alex Salzman for Palestra.net, the College Network.